Hello engineers, so I hope you are doing fine and today let's start with mechanical system design the first chapter which is design of the machine tool gearbox now you must be knowing how to solve because you have been taught in the exam or college I'll be teaching you some more about it let's get started first of all what is a gearbox it is used in automobiles you may say because for transferring power from the engine to the rear wheel drive you are absolutely right let's design the gearbox we have been given 6 speed gearbox 6 speed will be N1, N2, N3 that is the speed steps in the gearbox at various gear level minimum speed and maximum speed is given and the formula is given 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2 now the first step in designing the gearbox will be finding out the range ratio range ratio is for the two, for the two step gearbox it is you may say the reduction of speed in one stage so we can calculate Rn is equal to R max upon N max upon N minimum. So 1000 divided by 160 we get 6.25. Now calculating phi. Phi is the progression ratio which is equal to Rn raised to 1 upon Z minus 1. Z is 6 because we have been given 6 speed gearbox. Rn value is 6.25. We find out phi is equal to 1.4427. Next step will be calculating the various speed steps for the gearbox. N1, N2, N3, N4, N5, N6. Now N1 is the minimum speed of the gearbox which is given and N6 should always be equal to or should be equivalent after calculation to the N max. Now N1 is 160 rpm, N2 is N minimum into phi that is 230.832. For the third speed that is N3 we take N minimum into phi square. For N4 we take one N minimum into phi cube and in the similar fashion we go till the sixth speed that is N6 and we get N6 as 1000. Let's draw the structural diagram. So for the first formula 2, 3 and 3, 1. Let's see how to draw the structure. This is a structural diagram. We have three diagrams structural, ray and speed diagram. And the other the last one will be the gearbox design which shows the number of gears and their placements. We'll be seeing them in the later part. As for now let's see the structural diagram. Based on this you can calculate which is the best diagram out of all the formulas which gearbox will best suit you and which will have the maximum stage efficiency so 2 3 3 1 now before calculating we have to draw 6 horizontal lines and 3 vertical lines let's forget this part this is a motor di motor shaft I'll explain it to you later as for now from 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 we'll be considering so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Till N6 we have to draw 6 horizontal shafts and 3 vertical shaft on which the input, intermediate and output gears will be mounted. So I hope you understood the diagram layout. 6 shaft for the speed and 3 shaft for gear mounting. Let's see what to do. 2, 3. First of all let's calculate the midpoint. N6. So 1, 2, 1, 2 and 1 is left so we will take the midpoint. See 1 and 2, 1 and 2. Taking the middle point for even numbers it comes in middle. For, ha for odd number it always lies on one of these points that is solid lines. Always remember for even points it will be in the middle. For odd one it will be on the line that is a node. So we have to draw two lines with a gap of 3 in between them so two lines first line will be so this is half which will be considered so half and half will become 1 so this is half and this is 1 so 1.5 and 1.5 which will be 3 so drawing two lines at a distance of total 3 you got it from the half we draw two lines and the total distance between them that is half half and one half and one which became three the next step is drawing three lines with a gap of one in between them so drawing three lines is first line will always lie where the line ended so first line taking a gap of one taking a gap of one drawing two lines inclined now you have to remember or make sure that in the end when you reach the output shaft all the speed are connected to the horizontal to the inclined lines 
if it is not connected you are going wrong somewhere so n6 is connected n5 and n4 are connected to the first line in the similar fashion drawing three lines with a gap of one so first line n3 is connected second line n2 is connected third line n1 is connected as you see all these points are connected to some line not equally or not to each other i am saying it should be connected to the previous point because from the input we will get output if all are connected or else we won't get output at one of the gears which may be wrong this is structural diagram if we consider only this part we have been told to find out the speed diagram what is speed diagram we have to consider this node and join it to make one more row and column so row and column is made this co column this row will show the motor speed and this column will show the motor input from this the motor will be giving the input and from here will be getting the output connecting this point to the topmost end will give us the speed diagram so taking these three blocks into consideration together we get speed diagram taking these two blocks we get structure diagram let's see the next structure diagram 2 1 and 3 2 again we have six speed that is n1 to n6 and we have just two diagram so shaft will be three and stages will be two so in two stages we get one intermediate stuff if the formula goes three three for example we have to make four shafts and two intermediate shaft we'll see it in the next numerical as for now two one and three two two three we have to make two lines with a gap of one in between them as i told you for even number it lies in between for odd number it lies on the line so we'll be taking two lines two lines one gap next three line two gaps so first line taking gap of two that is n5 n6 this is connected n3 n2 this is connected so for the next line we take first n3 and then two point n4 n5 this is connected n2 n1 this is connected in this way all the points or all the speeds are connected to the previous points therefore our structure diagram is correct similarly drawing a column and row will give you speed diagram as in the above above image let's see how the gearbox diagram is made the first step here is calculating the number of gears how to calculate the number of gears depends on 2 into 3 that is 6 or 2 into 3 6 and 3 plus 1 that is 4 total is 10 if not from here you can calculate it from the table given in your textbook so for 6 speed step in the second row you can see the number of stages are 2 we did correct took the speed step as 6 which was given the structural formula is 2 1 3 2 that is the second diagram we drew which is equal to 6 and the gearing diagram is 2 into 2 plus 3 so 2 into the addition of the outer number and multiplying it with the inner number so 2 into 2 plus 3 will give us 10 that is the total number of gears in the gearbox so you have to remind this you have to remember this diagram or you have to jot it down on the bench <laughs> let's see how to make the gearbox first of all this is the input shaft intermediate shaft and the output shaft the first shaft contains two gears that is one smaller gear and one larger gear always make sure there is a gap of three between both the lines it will be easier or convenient for you to draw the gears as two two and three will be the maximum gap between them so the for the smallest gear has just one step and largest gear has just two step and you get one step left for the previous gear the input shaft has two gears one smaller and one larger the output has three gears one smaller one larger and one intermediate and the other gears which may be connected that is the two larger gears one intermediate and one smaller gear in this way you have to make the gearbox design two on the input three on the output rest of them in the intermediate gear so let's see the next numerical i hope you understood the gearbox diagram before proceeding to the next numerical i'll be taking it in the next session it is a little bit longer we'll revise what we did first we found out rn that is r max upon r minimum we found out the progression ratio using the formula sometimes progression ratio may be given in the terms of preferred series that is preferred number four 
so you have to take 10 under root 4 you will get progression ratio from this you can find out the speed step from the speed step you can calculate number of gear step everything and the structural formula as well we have been given two structural formulae from this we have to draw the structural diagram we found out this number of speeds for six speed steps and then the structural diagram so structural diagram was in two parts for first stage and for the second stage this column represents the motor diagram and this is the structural diagram or the integral diagram which is final for both the formula next we drew the gear diagram the sums in this particular chapter are fairly simple and come for 10 or 8 marks in the examination to draw the gear box do practice them well i'll see you in the next episode